All right, so welcome everyone. We see that it's seven o'clock. We're so happy that you joined us. We see two people in the attendee room. Um, since there are just six of us total, if you'd like to be moved into the panelist room, just raise your hand and I'll pull you right in. Um, I'm gonna let Alex and Sharon talk a little bit about the framework for tonight. And then um, my job is to take notes and to make sure that we have everything up on the screen to share so that we can get you through all of the resources. So welcome. And this is being recorded, just so everybody's clear on that. So if you'd like to be moved into the panelist room, just raise your hand. My name is Angela Mills. I work for the town of Amherst. I'm really pleased to be here tonight. And thanks for joining us. Great. Thank you, Angela. Um, so with us tonight, we have Sharon Cherry, who is the library director, and Anika Lopes, who is a town counselor, but also is on the Jones Library Building Committee, as well as the Outreach Subcommittee. So thank you everybody for being here tonight. Um, so the idea behind tonight's meeting was to have an event where we talk about the public outreach around the project because we're casting a fairly wide net in the way that we're doing things in hopes of catching as many people as possible. And the benefit of that is there's lots of avenues, but the downside of that is there are lots of avenues. So we thought it might make sense to talk to people a little bit about um, how they can engage on the project. Um, and so Sharon and Anika jump in at any time, anybody in the attendees who wants to jump in, I, I really want this to not be a formal presentation per se. Um, so just quickly, um, an overview of the public outreach to date. So the outreach subcommittee, like I said, wanted to sort of have as many, to engage as many people as possible. And so to do that, we wanted to use as many methods as possible. And so we wanna make sure that we're listening to the community, asking questions of the community, but then also keeping the community up to date. So those were sort of our, our primary goals. And so what we've been doing is a combination of in library, in-person events, going out into the community for events, partnering with other um, town departments for events, um, as well as um, doing virtual events, um, again, with the idea of engaging people. So for example, we did an open house at the library. We had over 120 people that came. Um, we did a get out and play uh, with Amherst Rec, uh, the Bang Center open house. And Nico was very kind and let us sit on, our, on her district floor office hours, the senior center. Um, we've been out to apartments. Again, we're trying to make sure that we are reaching a broad scope of people um, in Amherst and not just the people who are able to attend meetings or who have computer literacy or who have just, we wanna reach as many people as possible. Um, so we're going to the farmer's market every Saturday. We're at Amherst Survival Center every Thursday. Um, Olympia Oaks we've been to and on tap, we are going to uh, Village Park um, Saturday. Uh, which is a very large event from what I can tell. It's with Crest and the DPW and Amherst Rec. And uh, Earl Miller was telling me today that there's a dumpster that's been brought in. I don't know what that signifies, but that sounds like a large event. <laughs> Gets a dumpster from DPW. Um, so uh, we've also had um, gone into the high school. So we were at the lunch block um, for the high school to collect feedback from teens. And uh, coming up, we're working with the middle school, with Summit Academy, with Amherst Rec, and again, just trying to reach as many people as possible. Um, in terms of virtual events, we had a community forum last week. Um, and so uh, th this design process is an iterative process. There's no one point in time. So um, the schematic designs, which is the phase we're in, continue to be developed. And so uh, last week, literally the design committee got the designs on Friday and then we did a forum three days later. So we actually had the public looking at the updated designs before the Jones Library Building Committee, the larger committee, has even looked at them and reviewed them. So, um, and we'll continue to do that and to make that available. Um, also district meetings. We've been invited to some district meetings as well and are attending there. So that's kind of a big brush overbrush of community outreach. And I see we have some new attendees. So um, maybe we can sort of reiterate that this is a freestyle meeting. The point of the meeting is to talk about the community outreach that we're doing, 
to show the tools that are available to the community, um, and then to also invite um, people to talk with us about maybe uh, different ideas that they have or questions that they have. And so anybody who would like to be invited into the room, you can raise your hand, Angela will bring you in. Um, we're not looking at a public comment period, we're looking at anytime you have a question, raise your hand and we'll pause and we'll talk. Um, so, um, in terms of tools, the ways that people, and before I move on to tools, Angela or, or um, Anika or Sharon, did you wanna add anything to the sort of community outreach to date? <laughs> no, I just wanna, I wanna remind everyone that this meeting is being recorded. So people will post it on the YouTube channel so people can refer to it and people can use it as um, a sharing like teaching tool. If your friends or your family members want to find pathways to look at schematic designs or to comment on them, this is the place to kind of navigate that pathway. Yeah, uh, and one thing, so to the five attendees uh, that are with us, thank you so much for, for joining us. I, I really, I want to encourage you to raise your hand and come on into the room. Uh, you don't need to turn your cameras on so you can, you know, have your pigtails in and, and be on, be in your pajamas. That's totally cool. But really let this be a conversation between all of us. I see a taker. <laughs> Do I see more takers? No pressure, peer pressure. Okay, um, so I think, um, yay, there's another person. <laughs> The hands are going up. I feel like I'm on a, like a game show. Another hand is up. Um, so uh, Angela, if you don't mind sharing your screen and taking us to the library website, I think that's a good starting point. And I'll wait for you to bring in the other person who's got their hand up before. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm asking multiple things of you at once now. So I'm gonna have Angela take us to the library website and it is by no means the only place that you can go, but it's a place that uh, can be a springboard for everything else. And so it's, it's a nice place to start. So before I do that, um, Adele, I've tried several times to make you a panelist. It's not working for some reason. I'm gonna try one more time. I'm just gonna allow you to talk. And anytime you have a question, just unmute and feel free to give us okay. your questions. Okay. <laughs> so um, I was with you, was that a week ago? <laughs> um, so I, ju I just wondered um, if there had been any discussion in the intervening time about the location of the Burnett. Um, and that, that's basic, whoops. Yeah, so Adele, I'll, while, oh, while Angela is getting her there. screen sharing ready, yes, we have spoken with the architects and, and we have suggested more than once um, the, the idea of flipping the, it was coat closet along with Bathroom. and the restrooms along with the art galleries. Uh, yeah. So, and, and we've let them know that we, we still need um, a storage closet in there. So yes, it's in the, it's in the works. And I'm hoping to see that on June 24th. That's the next design committee meeting where I think the architects will be coming. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you. I actually can't stay, but um, I just wanted to ask. Thank you so much. Sure. Have a good Thanks, meeting. Adele. Thank you. Thanks, Adele. Um, so this is the Jones Library page. This is the landing page. Um, and if you scroll down, um, actually not anymore. Now you want to scroll back up. So right under when you land on the page, there's always these um, uh, the little slides of sort of what's coming. And right under those slides, um, the bottom right it says learn more about our building project, which is sort of the easiest way to get to the building project site page. So Angela's going to click on that. There is more information on here than probably most people will ever, ever want to dive into. But on this page are a lot of the tools that we have available. Um, and yeah, there's little things across the top that help you uh, sort of get to things quickly. Um, one is called designs and documents. That's where you'll find the latest schematic designs. Um, there is the proposed timeline, which shows the timeline of events for the project. 
Um, those are probably the two main ones right now that you would go to. And the first thing that you see, um, there's also a link you can see uh, to the Jones Library Building Committee. That's the town page. Um, and then our meetings are posted on the town's website calendar. And if you scroll down, this first document that you're seeing in green um, is one of the tools that we're using. And um, as I can I keep saying this every time, Anika's gonna get tired of hearing me say this, but Anika has so beautifully said that, you know, it, we have people who are skimmers, swimmers, and divers, right? Um, <laughs> and so <laughs> this is our document for the skimmers. Um, the idea behind this Padlet is at the May uh, 1st event, you know, we really wanted to just collect from people what their ideas are. And we continue to want to do that, but. I think that if you haven't been into a new library space, um, you may not always know what a new space can look like or what the options are like. And so the idea behind this is some of these are pictures of the from the designer that we're using. Some of them are pictures from this library, but most of them are pictures from libraries that have been renovated or expanded or newly built with the idea of when you look through it, what we're hoping people will do is share with us um, what they think about the spaces that they're seeing, right? It's, so it's it's meant to be a conversation that triggers, you know, like somebody on this one right here said, you know, I love the words, all are welcome, but the design does not look welcoming at all to me, right? These materials and colors look cold and uninviting. I mean, this is a perfect comment because it's super specific about what they like, what they don't like. Um, and the other thing that can happen is at the bottom of each one of these, there's a little plus sign and you can actually upload your own pictures. So if you've been to a library or you've been online, um, I usually go to the three dots, Angela, is the easiest thing because that will then take you to uh, a folder. So if you've got a picture, you can then upload, click upload. And what'll happen is it'll upload the picture. It'll put it in a pending for us to approve because this is, Anybody can do this and we want to make sure we're only getting, you know, library pictures and not uh, some troll somewhere out in the universe giving us something else. So um, we've had, I think, uh, 37 people use this, uh, 83 reactions and 66 comments. So um, it's not the place where we're seeing the most uh, from people, but for some people, this is just a really nice tool. Um, and it's broken out by um, sections. So there's you know, historic preservation, there's a uh, teen space, there's sustainability. So if you scroll to the right, um, I don't know, you swipe on my computer, I don't know what Angela does <laughs> to go, yeah, there you go. Then you'll see all the different areas. And then the very last one is dream board. And it's things that people, um, sort of aspirations, right? You know, we don't have a co-working tinker startup space right now, but someone thought that was a neat idea, right? We don't have a space for foosball and this great giant tree, but you know, so these are just sort of give us, you know, this, I'm gonna just tell you right now, this is my mother-in-law. She loves this idea. She keeps putting it out there. <laughs> so <laughs> so um, yeah, so this is just a place to put up things that you may think are wacky, but who knows, uh, it, it may make sense in the building. And so there's, there's, there's no, nothing, no wrong answer. Um, and we're in schematic design through uh, the end of July and public comments are through July 1st. So this really sort of big broad brush, tell us everything ends on July 1. And then when we move into design development, we'll start to narrow the focus in, in terms of, you know, design and exterior um, design and interior choices. And, and it, will, it will be less sort of a tell us your hopes and dreams. Um, the other thing you can find on the library space is there are um, newsletters. So right now we are publishing a newsletter on a weekly basis. Um, and um, these newsletters are available either on this site or on the town site. If you click on any newsletter, so Angela, you can just click on the one on the left maybe, um, or that one. Um, everything in this newsletter is uh, clickable, is a link. So if you see something in green, it's a link. So these give project updates. They tell you where we're gonna be for outreach. They're gonna tell you what uh, meetings are coming, but then they also have ways that you can share your comments with us. Um, so any of those are links. So the share the comments, you can do the info at joneslibrary.org 
The library images is the link to the green Padlet you just saw. The submit a comment form is a library comment form. So if you don't have an email or don't want to use an email address, the comment form allows you to just go ahead and type your comments right in there, submit it, and then we get them. So if you send us an email, I'm likely to respond and say thank you. But if you do it through the comment, I don't know who you are, so <laughs> I can't um, respond to you. If a meeting's been posted um, and we have the link, I'll also attach the meeting link in there. Um, so that allows you to um, that allows you to go straight to the meeting. Um, what Angela just uh, so yeah, so <laughs> that's there. Um, this QR code is another way you can scan with your phone to get to the Padlet. Um, so each week this newsletter changes and it just tells you what's going on, what's been discussed um, and sort of where we've been. Um, I'm gonna pause there for a second because I've been talking a whole, whole lot and see if anybody has questions or wants to ask anything or add anything. So what happens if you um, scan the QR code? It'll take you straight to that green Padlet. And then you can add pictures, you can add comments, you can add, you can like a picture. I'm, I'm QR code illiterate, clearly. I, I was before this, I'm not gonna lie. I had to, I had to add the uh, app to my phone. So I, could... I have the app, but I've never gotten it to work. So <laughs> I'll You don't have app. to use it, it's okay, yeah. yeah. Um, Benign enough. And another this looks place- great. I how do you get this out to the whole community though? I mean, there, you say there are only five of us here tonight or six or seven? Yes. Uh, um, so the library has a newsletter that it's publishing on Sundays um, yeah. and it was the project newsletter. So we've been pushing this on Sundays to the people who get that. Mm -hmm. um, and whenever we go to an event, we bring copies of all the newsletters with us. Um, but yes, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I go everywhere I can and I, and, I, and I say as much as I can, but that, that's the perennial difficult question about community yeah. outreach, right? You yeah. can build you things. You need a horse to water, but you can't make it. Through. Yeah. So, share. We, can all, we can all share. I need to celebrate you again, Alex, with this newsletter. Like you've really done a phenomenal job. Um, we talked about this um, at the last town council meeting, though it was late. Okay. It was late in the evening, but I, I, I think that this is wonderful for you know, everyone. I mean, share it, whether it's social media, email uh, to your friends, encourage uh, people to subscribe because I feel like once people see it and um, they really realize how detailed it is and you know everything you, you can find out it's just you know <clears throat> it's it's excellent so thank you that's great mm -hmm. so one other place where we've been collecting a lot of feedback is actually just physically in the library so after the may 1st event we took the public comments that we gathered at that event um, and we put them up in the atrium and then people um, have continued to either like them or add to them. And so that's been a really great way for us to sort of low hanging fruit because we know we get so many people who come into the library, they see it in the atrium and they continue to add comments to it. And so um, just by way, so what Angela has linked to are the actual public comments. So I will shift gears and you can link to this mm -hmm from the newsletter, it's in the newsletter every week. So wow. what we did was we set up a process where um, comments are entered, they're given a comment number, they're given a date. It's either the date collector to the date I entered them or somewhere around there. Um, the comment, um, the frequency, so, and the frequency tends to be, you know, if it's so, somewhere in a public space, we see a frequency to it. If somebody's just sent us an email, you're not likely to see the frequency not because it's not important, but it's just something we're capturing so that we're, so just, we have 401 unique comments, but we have 1,524 with frequency. So the frequency button was to try to combine comments where they made sense. So we, it wasn't overwhelming. Um, and then what happens is our owner's project manager 
Um, these are, so this is live, real time, accessible to the public at any point in time. If you put a comment in, you can come find it in here. Um, and then our owner's project manager looks through the comments and then prioritizes them based on where we are in the design process. So we're in schematic design right now. So anything that's gonna impact sort of how all the pieces fit together, how all the program spaces fit together, or if we're making changes to program spaces like Adele's comment about where's my closet in the Burnett Gallery, like these are things that need to be addressed early on. Um, things like comfortable chairs and laptops and things like that are things that can be discussed later. So the dates that you're seeing in column G are the dates that the owner's project manager has assigned for review. So you can see that um, uh, the Jones Library Building Committee for number 27 reviewed um, like the one, the one that's like not feasible. <laughs> um, they wanted us to trim down to a smaller square footage and that's not feasible because our grant with the MBLC, we have to keep the building and the program mm -hmm. to the size that it is. Um, so, so people can see what's happening. And I would say of the first review, the first bucket that we did, it was 88% that were reviewed, um, were put into either agree it's in the design, um, agree we're going to send it off to the architects to look at um, of, of those. So there were very few that were considered not feasible. It tended to be things like, uh, you know, a loft in the children's area, which was there was a safety concern about having a loft in the children's area. So those are the kinds of things uh, that were put in the not feasible. Um, but I, I, I don't know that this has ever been done before in town. And I think anybody who's a detail freak like me, it's kind of cool to be able to find your comment and then see what date it's going to be discussed. And, you know, I would say that sometimes when these comments are going in, the example I give is the teen space somebody said they wanted speakers. I don't know whether they want speakers that they hear with or if they want public speakers. So <laughs> I would not be sad if that person showed up and clarified or gave us more information. So um, yeah, and so, and we continue to, so an example is, um, you know, there were comments about the Burnett Gallery about their space needs that were reviewed on May 24th. The revised schematics came on May 27th. The representative from the Burnett Gallery came on the 27th and said, that looks great, still not what I want. Can you go back and make these changes? And so that's what Adele was actually just asking Sharon at the beginning of the meeting. And so again, this is meant to be a back and forth discussion and uh, community engagement. So just because we think we handled something doesn't, I mean, if we, we might've missed something, we might've misunderstood something. So yeah, so that's how that's meant to be. Um, it's very that's, impressive, I think. Thank you. It's a great, it's a good outreach subcommittee with, um, I have other people on the committee who had some really pretty brilliant ideas. So it was just a matter of executing what, what, what people thought we should do. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, which was great. So I'm excited about it. Now I just need to figure out how to get every, I mean, on the one hand, right, there's seven people at this meeting, but we have over 1500 comments to date. Yeah. So I feel like we must be which doing Which is something. great. I mean, that. <laughs> That means that people have are having their say about what's happening, which is yeah, really yeah. good for those of us who still hear from naysayers. It's like, well, have you spoken up and made that suggestion? Yeah, and it's actually been a really nice opportunity too. Like I have really enjoyed going to the Survival Center on Thursdays um, because we're sort of half talking to people about programming and services and what's available and signing mm -hmm. people up in a really easy way for library cards, but then also using that opportunity to find out what they wanna see for programming and spaces. And so there's some really nice synergy being out in the community and having these conversations, which sure. I super like. Um, well, if you wanna come speak at the Amherst Club, Sharon, I'm sure we'd be happy to have you. <laughs> You know, it, it's funny. Uh, I've been there a couple of times and then, you know, and then the vote happened and then um, 
they reached out to me and I said, yeah, you, you just named the date and, and they just, they wanted to wait a little bit. And I said, okay, I, I'm here okay. ready whenever, whenever you are. Okay. Um, and maybe the best time to do that would be when our schematics are done. And that way I can give, oh, you good. know, and I can walk people through that. Oh, that'd be great. Okay. Thank you. Um, anything else? <laughs> it was a lot of talking. So, um, so this is the joke. What Angela's on now is the town website. So the Jones Library Building Committee is a town uh, appointed committee. Mm -hmm. Um, and we are, um, charged with the oversight of the design and construction of the project. And so the makeup of the committee is the town manager, two residents, two trustees, the town finance director, um, and, uh, Anika, a town counselor. And so that's actually who's running with this project, um, which gets a little confusing because it's a library building, but it's a town committee that's actually running all of this at this point. Um, and so you can find the project newsletters where Angela's clicking right now, um, the click here. So if you click on that, you can be notified by the town. So every time a new newsletter is issued, you'll get a notification that it exists. So this is a, a good way to, just get the heads up, hey, there's a new newsletter. The plan right now is we're issuing them weekly because we're in schematics and everything's moving very quickly. But as we move into maybe construction documents and later parts that it would probably be less frequent. Um, so it'd be nice to have that heads up when it's coming. Um, all of our meetings are recorded. Um, there's recordings right there. So anytime you wanna... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nothing better to do but listen to us <laughs> you can go to any of our any of our meetings so those are the all the the community forums the design the outreach uh as well as the main meetings um but the best part of watching them once they're recorded it's kind of like a dvr you can fast forward through the parts that don't interest <laughs> you <laughs> true enough true enough and then, oh, you know, some of the places I didn't talk about, Angela, actually, um, can you go back to the newsletter at 14774? Um, so if you go to the ways to submit comments, um, which should be scroll up. That's a picture, by the way, at the high school. Um, so the ask a question on Amherst Talks, that is a partnership um, between the town and UMass, um, which you have to create a, an email address and password for but if you go to it it's it's a way where it's again just one more tool you could ask anything you want on there and it actually there's somebody at UMass who's controlling it but the question comes to us and then we try to provide sort of a quick response of either like here's where you can find the meeting here's where you can find the document or give people a, a quick response um and I think we'll also try to use it to like Right now, where we are in schematic design is the designers are giving us four, well, three alternatives um, for exterior building materials. Um, and mm -hmm. we don't know what the cost difference is yet, but in theory, it's a cost savings. Um, and so we've gotten, uh, we've gotten, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Renderings. We've gotten renderings of what these might look like. Um, and so once we, have them will that might be a place in addition to the other places where we might send to people and say you know what weigh in what do you think kind of thing um so this one was the initial conversation um where they were sort of going through here are the sections and here are the different options and then we just yesterday got the renderings and so we're waiting to get those from the architects mm. so for me right like i had no idea that the, it was brick like these go back up one Angela. So yeah. I had no idea, like, these are the colors we're really talking about potentially. So it was helpful for me to see, you know, um, you know, we still have color choices and we have material choices. And so, um, yeah, that was all really helpful. You know, so Alex, I have created, uh, going back to Amherst Talks, um, I've created my own account. Um, it's totally worth playing with. And so I didn't know if maybe Angela could 
stop sharing unless Angela has an account. And then Alex, maybe you could sign in and show sure. people how to use it. Cause it's, it's very different from the Padlet. Yep. It's cool. <laughs> Cause you know, the library is all about cool. It, Am, it's I just a, yes. Am I sharing? Okay. Yep. <laughs> Oh my gosh. She's just got a couple things going on. Who, me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. So if we go, you're getting there. So I tend to use the meeting. Whenever I'm looking for something, I actually use the newsletter because I think it's the fastest way to find things. Oh, let's see. All right, so. That was interesting. Okay, so, uh, right. So the initial questions that were posted on there, uh, you know, you what the zanier fun off the wall idea what amenities have you seen at other libraries you'd like to see? What's your favorite thing, least favorite? What would make you come? So there's a series of questions people can answer, hmm. um, but they also, um, you know, how important is it that the building be net zero ready? You know, so there are polls, things in there. Um, so this person answered those questions. Um, and then, you know, would you spend more time in a quieter active spaces? People can vote there, um, hmm. you know, Somebody here, you know, there are concerns about the roof design holding up in winter over the years as troughs which hold ice, boy, don't we know it. Um, you know, <laughs> this, this is a subject near and dear to our hearts as well. Um, and so, um, you know, there are responses then, right? Thanks for the feedback, you know, here's information for you, or, you know, we're previewing exterior material choices. Here's a link to the meeting, come join us. So it's just one more way for, people to send us. And so any comment here also goes into that Excel spreadsheet. Um, so it doesn't matter where you put it in, whether it goes to the Padlet, whether it goes to info at joneslibrary.org, whether it go, it, it all feeds into that Excel spreadsheet. Um, the beauty of the beauty of this technology or software is, I, so I think it, it has the potential for conversations with people as opposed to the comment, which is just you submit your comment and, and that's it. So, so this kind of goes back to what Gigi was saying in the beginning, how do you get this out there? So I love that Alex, you just walked people through it. Um, because this will be more successful the more people that are there giving their comments and kind of nicely arguing with one another. Right. Arguing mm -hmm. is, is too strong of a word, but you know what I mean, having a conversation. Yeah. yeah. That's neat. Well, this is all our community participation officer who so wisely suggested that we do this meeting. So thank you, Angela, <laughs> who has been a phenomenal partner. Yes. <laughs> The town runs with Angela. <laughs> so true. <laughs> so true. You know that. <laughs> and I don't even think we know a, a, the, the fraction of it. <laughs> yeah, she does a lot. So that's kind of what I had. I mean, I could talk for hours because this is all I live and breathe these days, <laughs> but people probably want to eat dinner. Um, I, I'm happy to answer questions. I'm happy to take suggestions if people have thoughts or ideas about different ways or maybe communities who um, aren't getting the access to share their feedback. Um, I, there's nothing's off the table. We'd, we'd love to hear anything and everything that, you know, people have to say. And if you can't think of it now, but you think of it later. Please, please tell us. I, I do think we have to purchase for your mother-in-law that that bicycle desk. That bicycle. <laughs> That's a great idea. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> yeah. She, she's earned it. We, we are, it of course. <laughs> we're a multi-generational house, and I'm not going to lie, I call on her frequently uh, to uh, go man the table at, uh, this, at the farmer's market or... <laughs> Nice. Well, you know, the similar thing that people have shared through, I don't know if it was the Padlet that I saw it, but um, uh, for the children's room, 
I forget the name of this piece of furniture, but on one side of it is a place for a mom or a dad or a caregiver to sit and, and work on their laptop. And the other piece of this is a place for your, your toddler slash baby to hang out. And it's like cool. this enclosed, it's brilliant. I a mean, hard, it, a hard side and a soft side. In other yes, words. It, yeah. it takes, it takes a bit of square footage but you know, even if the Jones could have one or two of those, uh, it would be pretty cool. Yeah. Anyways. No. Oh yeah. Yes, there it is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Brilliant. So simple and brilliant. <laughs> yep. Whoever came up with that design. They also have a tree in their library, which is cool. I don't think we're going to get any trees, but I would stay away from trees. <laughs> <laughs> Gigi, that's funny. Based on experience. Yeah. Do you think the, that's a uh, real tree? I, I remember once um, trying to grow a, a ficus tree in a new library space that had very carefully shielded all ultraviolet light out. And of course, without ultraviolet rays, the tree died. Oh. <laughs> so be careful about what you wish for. Exactly, exactly. All right. Well, unless anyone else has anything to add. No, this was great. I, I just dropped by out of just curiosity to see what was going on. I haven't been as attentive as I should, but um, anyway. There's a lot to pay attention to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're all you're all doing a lot of great stuff. And uh, thank you, thank you so much, Gigi. Thank I don't you. think people complain that they don't have a voice in this, having seen what you're doing. So, mm -hmm. yeah, thank you, great. appreciate it. I think it's great. Yeah. Okie dokie. Good. Good. And thank Good you for being the brave soul that came into <laughs> our, yeah. yes. into our discussion. Well, my hair is yeah. a mess. I went bicycling. I'm not. I'm not doing camera. <laughs> That's great. And I'm thank eating you. graham crackers. So you know, I. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, yeah. Also, shout out to Hala Lord, who is always here too. <laughs> she didn't pop up in the meeting. Oh, but we see hi. you. We see you. <laughs> All right. With hey, that, hey, hi, actually. <laughs> oh, we just got a new attendee too. Oh, hey, Kathy, we're ending the meeting. <laughs> Unless you have a question, <laughs> Kathy. Thank you so much for coming. Adele was here at the, at the beginning of the of the meeting, asking about uh, the gallery location and the closet, and I was able to let her know that the architects are. Um, working on that. So I hope to see new schematics on the 24th. I think it is Friday, the 24th. Um, do you have any other specific questions, Kathy? Try again. I said, I've, I've been monitoring what Adele has contributed. And I totally agree. That's great. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Everybody go eat dinner. Okay. <laughs> thank you, Angela, for putting this Great. together. Anika, thank you. Yeah. I know you have a ton on your plate. I always appreciate you being here. Sharon, up. <laughs> obviously. And Gigi, Kathy, and Hala, thanks for being here. Really. Thank oh, you. You're welcome. Thank you, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Have a good night, everyone. Bye-bye, all. Bye. Bye.